Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is about an option which is there in Silhouette from long back and I have never made a tutorial on this. So let's learn Power Mat. Creating a session, click on OK. Let's do a playback and cache the image. See this VSP had details of this pet and it's a great trouble for compositors many time. Lots of time Roto artists put their 100% to finish such task. Sometimes Power Mat can help you key such drastic hair details. I am deleting these nodes and let's take the power mat node. Inside silhouette tab, here we have the power mat node. Let's connect this to the plate. As you can see, there are two options here, one for BG and one for FG. Let's do some rough roto and I am selecting the Bezier tool for that. Keeping this as foreground for a easy playback. Let's start from here. I have drawn the shape throughout the outline, just making sure I have covered everything. Ok, let's arrange the splines. Create a layer. Let's rename this as FG shapes. Select all the shapes and drag it inside this layer. I am just copying the name of this layer and pasting it in individual shapes. Of course this is not a good idea. Let's find an easy way. Select the shape with proper naming and go to actions. Batch rename. Wow, that's so fast. Up next, let's select all the shapes. In the object properties, select the type as foreground. And also check the filled option as all our shapes are closed one, right? Leave the invert option as it is. Now it's time to draw a shape for the outer area. And let's create a layer. Drawing a shape here. Make sure you are covering all other areas. Adjusting this a bit. I am changing the color of the shape and layer to green. Ok, rename this as BG shapes. Make sure the type is background and check the field option for this BG shape. We have couple of options here for viewer purpose. Everything except uh, trimap and matte layer might be familiar to you. Let's explore this. Ok, this is trimap segmentation and basically you can see three different colors here. White with the FG, black with the BG and the grey color with the extraction area. This view can help us to find which areas are covered and which are not. Up next, matte option. Wow, matte is already ready here with pretty much all the hair details covered. You can see the level of details here. It's impressive, right? Let's alter some properties to fine tune this matte. First, I'm keeping the update as manual as power matte is an expensive node. In the properties, we can see many options here. First one is the source alpha. You can choose the blending modes inside here. Up next, we have color estimation, which I will explain later. We have sensitivity here. This option helps us to fine tune matte as well as the hair details. Okay, so I have noticed that when we keep the accuracy full, sensitivity always helps. Let's check the higher option first. You can see the difference. And let's try the full. Yes, you can see the matte is now much more accurate and clearer too. You can see the difference between normal and full option here. Next one is the D artifact which is offsetting all those midtone values and provides us a solid core mat. You can play with these values to get the desired result. Up next we have blue and green screen options which might help if we are extracting details while we do respective keying. As you can see here, there are lots of issues or foggy mats I would say around those details. We can clean up this by two ways. Add a shape much tighter like this. And let's give the option as background. Check the field option as well. Yes, you can see the result here. But I would say using open spline shapes are much easier and effective. I am deleting this shape. 
Let's draw some open splines wherever we need it. I think this looks cool for me. Uh, let's continue the process. Select all the shapes. Give type as background. And you can leave this option as unchecked as it is an open spline. Let's click enter. And see the result. Wow, that's promising, right? Let's change the color for all the shapes. You can see the difference here without the shapes and with the shapes. So that's why I recommend adding open spline shapes wherever needed. So this is an awesome tool which not many are aware or many of you are not using. I would say giving it a try can save you some time. Let's explore further. Here if you check the composite viewer, you can see the color overlay as well as the alpha. We can do any compositing task with this mask. Let's try some basic things here. Take a color node. And change the color to something like this. Wow, this results looks great. And you can see the details also here. And how easy was that to extract, right? Let's change the BG color and check the details. Wow. This looks amazing for a commercial level of quality, I would say. Now there is one more option which I will explain now. Do you remember there is an option here? Color estimation. Okay, wait. Let's change the update properties to drag. You can see the edge color is changed. Yes. Now you can see the edge color is changed. This option is kind of a spill suppression tool which will alter matte as well. You can see the changes in the details too. See here? But here some weird hard edge came. But overall impressive, right? Okay, delete this. Now let's take a black and white node. Let's see how spill is removed much clearly now. Connect this. You can see the result here. Did you notice all this green spill in these edges? This can be removed by the color estimation property. Let's try it out. Cool, you can see the suppression here. This is awesome, right? So basically with the power mat, we can extract the details and also we can do some spill suppression. This can help us to do some basic comp in Silhouette itself. There are many tools inside Silhouette which can fine tune this mat further. And now after this, if we need to extract mats through the whole range, just continue roto for the whole range as we demonstrated and redo the process as we saw in this tutorial. I hope this tutorial taught you something. If yes, please give a thumbs up and comment down your thoughts. Till next time, it's Manuj signing off. Bye bye.